Will audiences be left smiling or scarred for life? The answer is a little bit of both. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 reasons Joker will blow your mind. She told me I had a purpose to bring laughter and joy to the world. For this list, we're looking at the reviews that Todd Phillips' Joker movie earned coming out of the Venice International Film Festival, which suggests we could be in store for a contemporary classic. I used to think that my life was a tragedy. Number 10. It's reminiscent of Martin Scorsese. Is it just me? Or is it getting crazier out there? From the moment the trailer dropped, cinephiles could tell the Joker was going to have some serious Scorsese vibes. This unique approach to the clown prince of crime, or Arthur Fleck, immediately called Taxi Driver and the King of Comedy to mind. You're talking to me? Well, then who the hell else are you talking to? Talking to me? Scorsese was only briefly attached to produce the project, leaving early on because of other commitments. Nevertheless, numerous reviews highlight Scorsese's evident influence. Critics have most notably drawn parallels between Joaquin Phoenix's performance and Robert De Niro's turn as Travis Bickle. While Arthur and Travis may be cut from the same cloth, Phil Dissemlian of Time Out says, quote, This character isn't just a makeup smeared facsimile of Robert De Niro's traumatized Vietnam veteran. He's the product of a society that feels painfully current. You can say that again, pal. Number 9. It's one of the Joker's best portrayals. As my plastic surgeon always said, if you gotta go, go with a smile. <laughs> For the longest time, audiences firmly believed that nobody but Jack Nicholson could do the Joker justice in a live action film. Flash forward almost 20 years, and the late Heath Ledger blew Nicholson's portrayal out of the water with an Oscar winning performance. He turns to me and he says, why so serious? Only time will tell if Phoenix's depiction of the character will go down as the all-time greatest. Reviews generally indicate, though, that Phoenix definitely deserves to be in the conversation. What's more, critics have lauded the film for its ambitious and original take on the Joker's beginnings. David Sexton of Go London was enthralled with Phillips' interpretation, writing, quote, Nobody who sees this new film will ever need any other version. You don't listen, do you? You just ask the same questions every week. Number 8. It's not your average comic book movie. Can you please stop bothering my kid? It may be based on a DC Comics character, but that doesn't mean you should go in expecting witty quips or CGI action sequences. With a modest budget of $55 million, a hard R rating, and a wicked central character, Joker is a far cry from anything that's come out of the MCU. The Hollywood Reporter's David Rooney calls it, quote, a film for audiences who don't much care about the usual Hollywood comic strip assembly line. Brian Viner of the Daily Mail singled out Phoenix's performance as a breath of fresh air, writing that the actor, quote, does not offer the standard comic book caricature of villainy. For anyone who thinks that comic book movies are played out, Joker is sure to get the last laugh on them. <laughs> is this a joke to you? <laughs> Number 7. It's very dark. It's so awful, isn't it? Be it through the lens of Tim Burton or Christopher Nolan, the Joker has always been a demented and chilling character. Even Mark Hamill's animated version pushed the limits of what you can get away with in so-called kid stuff. Makes you want to laugh, doesn't it, Art? <laughs> this movie cranks the darkness up to 11, though, rivaling even the most twisted Joker storylines from the comics. How dark is Joker? Well, according to Eric Eisenberg of Cinema Blend, quote, You'll definitely feel like you'll need a shower after seeing it. But once you've dried off and changed clothes, you'll want to do nothing else but parse and dissect it. In other words, this is one comic book movie where parents may want to think twice about bringing the kitties. <laughs> Number 6. The Cinematography Although much of the awards buzz has been circling around Phoenix's performance, Fandango's Eric Davis also praised the, quote, terrific cinematography by Lawrence Schur. Sure might be best known for his work behind the camera in comedies like Garden State and Phillips' Hangover trilogy, but Sure has been stepping out of his comfort zone as of late. In 2019, he lent his artistic eye to a bombastic blockbuster with Godzilla King of the Monsters and a psychological thriller with Joker. Discussing the latter film, Cineview's John Bleasdale wrote, Quote, the cinematography by Lawrence Schur has that rich color and grit typical of the urban cinema of the 1970s. Almost every shot seems to stink of the city, 
a mix of excrement, diesel fumes, street food, and disinfectant. Number 5. It's the best Batman-related media since The Dark Knight. But I know the truth. There's no going back. You've changed things. Forever. With The Dark Knight, Christopher Nolan set a gold standard not only for Batman movies, but for comic book movies in general. The one downside is that nothing Batman-related since has quite reached the same heights. No matter where you stand on the divisive The Dark Knight Rises, few would rank the film above its predecessor. Impossible. While Ben Affleck's take on Bruce Wayne took many by surprise, his version of Batman still suffered on a writing level. Why did you say that name? Sure, the Lego Batman movie was amazing, but that's in a whole other league. Joker may not put much emphasis on the caped crusader, but The Hollywood Reporter calls it, quote, arguably the best Batman-adjacent movie since The Dark Knight. Here's hoping the upcoming Robert Pattinson film inspires the same enthusiasm. Send in the clown. Number 4. It Reflects Real-World Anxieties I'm gonna make this pencil disappear. <laughs> the Dark Knight was essentially a crime drama disguised as a superhero movie, seamlessly blending genres. Likewise, Joker uses its comic book mythology to mirror our troubled modern world. Watching the film, Richard Lawson of Vanity Fair couldn't help but be reminded of the shootings and senseless violence we regularly see plaguing the news. Joker is largely about the roots of such evil, touching upon mental health, social isolation, and how the media can represent agents of chaos. When I was a little boy and told people I was going to be a comedian, everyone laughed at me. Well, no one's laughing now. CBR Sergio Pereira wrote, quote, from a psychological standpoint, Joker will undoubtedly turn into a crucial debate about the effects of nature versus nurture. No matter where you stand on that debate, this movie is going to leave everyone feeling paranoid walking out of the theater. Number 3. The Ending Is Insane You know how Taxi Driver worked up to one of cinema's most unsettling climaxes? We can expect something equally mind-blowing as Joker draws to a close. This is where Arthur comes into his own as the Joker, emerging as the merchant of anarchy he was born to be. In a mixed review, David Ehrlich of IndieWire found the film's second act, quote, turgid, but described its grand finale as, quote, operatic. Quote, there are moments of shocking violence, but mostly, Phillips is swept away by Arthur's newfound power, Ehrlich wrote. If you thought the ending of Avengers Infinity War was grim, you ain't seen nothing yet. Oh, God. Number 2. It's sure to be controversial. Although Joker received perfect five-star ratings from The Guardian, Empire, and Games Radar, a few reviews have taken issue with the film's violence and dark subject matter. I have some bad news for you. <laughs> Stephanie Watts of Sci-Fi Now, for example, described the film as, quote, miserable and, quote, in bad taste. Joker is in the same vein as A Clockwork Orange, Natural Born Killers, and American History X. Some will hail it as a bold tour de force, while others will see it as unpleasant, pretentious exploitation. While Brandon Davis of ComicBook.com said that Joker, quote, will make audiences uncomfortable in wild ways, he also called the film, quote, an insane masterpiece, giving it an astounding 10 out of 10. Whatever your personal views, a film this controversial is sure to have people talking for ages. This is the last time we'll be meeting. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Joaquin Phoenix's Performance My mother always tells me to smile and put on a happy face. Positive or negative, the one takeaway from virtually every review thus far is that Phoenix is a revelation. Many found it surprising that Phoenix would sign on for a comic book movie, but he's not going for camp here, instead evoking his disturbing work in You Were Never Really Here. You'd be hard-pressed to find a critic who hasn't tossed around the words Oscar-worthy in regards to Phoenix's performance. In an especially glowing endorsement, International Film Critique tweeted that Joker, quote, is the type of film that defines an actor's career, type of role and character that comes once in a lifetime. Heath Ledger's Joker redefined the character, but Phoenix cements it as one of the greatest, darkest villains in cinematic history. All hail Joaquin Phoenix. Murray, one small thing. Yeah. When you bring me out, can you introduce me as Joker? Do you agree with our picks? 
Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.